Who's gonna get aggressive? Who's gonna take some shots? Dachi, you know what play I was like, he boot gave me, boot gave me. That's kind of my play. I was under the game. I was under the game. Get the controller down. Get the controller down. Oh, I need to tap that nigga, tap that nigga, deep score, every score, every call. I ain't gonna lie, you got them niggas, got them niggas looking at base. Them niggas literally niggas catch every, catch every fuck. I'm like, always open, too. Good shit, good shit. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shots. Never have the college football cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what's probably my favorite offense to use in college football 25 and Madden 25, as this is an offense that I broke down in my Kansas City Chiefs offensive ebook. I haven't broken down the Texas State Bobcats offense yet, and I'm probably not going to because this is going to be the last game I'm going to show you guys using this before I move on to BYU because there's some offenses and defenses in that playbook that I really like. But in today's video, I'm going to break down this offense. I'm going to do it against the best defense in the entire game against the Ohio State Buckeyes, who have a 96 overall defense. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. If you need more help and more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top hand comment. I'm only going to use one offense for the entire game, and that offense is going to be the gun tight open because I think this is one of the hardest offenses to stop in college football and Madden. For my five play audibles, I'm typically going to use the read option as my inside run because I don't have an inside zone but this can work very well as a replacement I'm also going to use the speed option as my outside run as this is one of the most explosive runs in the entire formation and it gives me the ability to attack inside or outside for my passing plays in my audibles I typically keep the slot post because this is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game I already put out an entire breakdown of this particular play in a practice mode for both Madden and college football so if you guys want to see more I have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video for my fourth play I use the mesh spot because these drags will pretty much get open against just about every single defense in the game and for my fifth and active play, I typically choose the dig Z spot, although there will be times where I choose other plays, but this one here is probably my favorite. The setup display is super simple. All I have to do is streak the B receiver, and if it's a zone coverage, I work the right side with the running back and the corner route, and if it's a man coverage, I work the left side with the zig route and the in route. On the first play, though, I have an 87 speed quarterback, so I see an opportunity to take off up the middle and I run for the first down. Another play that I like to run a lot is the halfback slip screen, but since my opponent's running man coverage, I don't get much on the very next play. And since he's pretty much been running man coverage this entire game, I'm going to hit him with the dig Z spot on the next play, but I just want to make sure that I have this Y receiver on the wide side of the field so he has plenty of room for catch and run space. On this play, I just put this X receiver on a slant to give my opponent something to chase over the middle, and it works perfectly as we're off to the races and almost score on the very next play getting inside the two yard line before running a hurry up and switching over to my inside run the read option and punching in for the score. On defense though, this is probably where he has the biggest advantage as he has one of the best offenses in the entire game, including one of the best running tandems, and he uses that pretty much the entire first drive. Although we do eventually slow him down and get him into a third and three, and this is where he decides to get even cheesier by pulling out the goal line offense. What a pussy. Like, it's already not bad enough that you're using one of the best teams against one of the worst teams. Now you're going to come out and goal line cheese? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, pal. So we're definitely going to have to win this game with our offense. Sometimes when I run this dig Z spot play, if I know my opponent's running man coverage, a lot of times I'll put the running back on a Texas route to once again fool the user. And on the next play, we hit that zig one more time as the user's in conflict, and we almost take it to the house. We go back to that screen play, and even though my opponent's still in man coverage, we get a pretty decent gain, and this always keeps the user in the box. On the next play, I notice that he does this a lot where he uses the cover two safety and cover two man and drops him over the middle to user over the middle. So I try to put the X receiver on a streak to take advantage of that, but he just don't get a good enough throw where he just wasn't fast enough. But that's important to remember because that's not going to be the last time that he makes that mistake. Which gets me to third and three. So I try to get it on the ground, but the read option play can also get blown up by dominant defensive tackles like Ohio State has. Hey, hey. And this is when he starts chirping up. So I decide to go for it on fourth and three. And anytime I need a play, I just go to the mesh double drags play, as these drag routes will be just about any single defense in the game. As my opponent finally switches to a zone coverage before I catch him in man coverage once again, and I go right back to that zig route for another easy catch and run as we punch it in from 40 yards out. Do it! Oh, 
What? Back on defense, you know it's the Quinshawn Judkins show as he pretty much uses his running backs the entire drive, checking it down a little flat route and stuff like that, or just basically running the entire drive, as this is pretty much his entire offense right here. We do slow him down from time to time and force him to do things like throw to the tight end every once in a while, but other than that, his entire offense is just the most overpowered player in the game, as I'm sure this was one of those guys that was just spamming Ohio State before they patched the spin move, before he gets lucky and almost throws an interception. Oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. That turns into a touchdown due to a poor angle. How bad can it get? Just how goddamn bad can it get? Now with only 19 seconds left before the half, I noticed that he's still doing that trick where he's bringing that safety down. So I go back to that streak in hopes that this time I get a good enough throw. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> as we get a bomb right over the top of his defense. Fuck you! And this guy is all full of excuses. That's kind of not. That's kind of not. Yeah, I wasn't even playing, bro. I wasn't even. I wasn't even. I put the controller. I put the controller. I forgot. I forgot. I just walked in. Just walked in. Just running into the end. But my fun is short lived as he literally takes the next kickoff to the house, walking right through my shoddy defense. Right back and right cheap. Back and cheap. Not playing while you got that touchdown. Literally walking into the end. Literally walking into the end. Let me know in the comments section if you really believe he wasn't playing on that last play. On the first play of the second half, he gets ball, and I try to use the run commit glitch out of man zero blitz to try to stop the run, which is something that they recently said that they patched. But I noticed that the cornerbacks still don't bite, so I tried again anyway, only to realize that these safeties definitely do bite. As this could be the difference between a five-star team and a one-star team. And my man is back to talking trash. Thinking you know a player, you know a player. That is a, that is a. Tap that in deep, tap that in deep score, every score, every time, except for ball, except for one. Except for once, when did he stop me? Back on offense, I decided to run the ball a little bit. If I want to run the speed option, I typically want to have the outside edge here, but since he has a defender outside my widest blocker, I decided to go up the middle instead since I have larger gaps here. As his defensive tackle almost gets the shed and the play, but we still get a positive gain for 8 yards. Then on the next play, you can see why I said that you typically want to run this zig to the open side of the field, as I a lot of times will watch this zig at the start of the play to tell if it's a man or a zone, and if I see it's a man, I'll throw it right away, as we don't get as much of a catch and run based on the fact that I'm on the short side of the field. So on the next play, instead of flipping the play, I just put the B receiver on a zig to run to the other side. I put the running back on a Texas route on the next play just to throw over the middle, and I catch him in zone once again. And he starts complaining even though I don't even accept the penalty. Bro, they made me pass interference. I just ran into dude I go back to the screen pass on the next play as I'm working my running back just as much as he's working his, and we get down inside the two yard line before we switch back to the inside run one more time and punch it in on the ground. And now with only 46 seconds left in the third and my opponent already admitting that he can't stop me, it's pretty obvious that his goal is to kill the rest of the clock in this game. Good catch, good catch, used, used. As he slowly and methodically works his way down the field trying to use up all the clock, mostly on the back of his two overpowered running backs that he's been living off of this entire game, before switching over to goal line at midfield and letting the clock run down into the red before snapping the ball. Cry me a river, bro. You're literally using one of the best teams in the game and playing like an absolute cheese ball. Sorry if I don't feel bad for you for not getting the spot. Before picking up the first down, a QB sneak anyways. He tries to trick me and pass on the next play, but we shut that down. And if he was getting BS, he probably would have dropped this ball too. Now that he's in third and short of the game on the line, I continue to run commit as we get the stop to get into fourth and three, forcing him to pass with the game on the line as I need a stop here to get the ball back. And I almost use it, but he catches the ball right in front of me. But that's not game yet, as I start dipping into my timeouts. As he's coming down some obvious running formations, and we're just barely getting the stop, as one more first down is game over. He comes out in that goal line package one more time on third and two. And we send the house and just barely get the stop. And instead of going for it, he decides to kick the field goal. But not before letting the clock run down to its final seconds. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God.
the way that they got that they got that angle on that field goal gets shitty as fuck. Like, you can't tell if it's to the side, side for real. Huh? Huh? See, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I hope you do. 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 But I got no timeouts left, so I got to work the sidelines. We hit a drag on the first play and barely get out of bounds. That was a close one. So on the next play, we're going to work that corner out, and the tight end just goes up and makes a hell of a play, just barely getting out of bounds and avoiding the tackle once again. Now with 22 seconds left, we're going to take whatever we see first. As he's favoring the deeper route, so we take the running back underneath, but stopping the clock is the most important thing. As it doesn't appear that he's running man coverage anymore, and we're forcing up to that tight end as he comes down with it again inside a field goal range. Ain't gonna lie, you got them niggas looking amazed. Them niggas literally, niggas literally catch every catch, every play. Somebody always, somebody always, always open, open too. But I want to get closer because kicking field goals in this game is very hard. He tries to go back to man coverage on the next play, but we go up and moss him and get out of bounds with nine seconds left. And though we could try to score from here, I don't trust that I'm going to be able to stop the clock again. So we kick the field goal. Hey, back to motherfucking. And give him the ball back with almost zero time on the clock. But he's also got a kick return touchdown against me in this game, so we kick it in the corner this time. How about new? As he has enough time for one more Hail Mary to try to win this game. Perfect. As we pull off one of the greatest upsets in college football history, and it was all due to this offense. So give this offense a try, and if you guys want to see more gameplay of me playing against top tier teams with bottom tier teams like the Texas State Bobcats, or I want to play touchdown versus every defense in the game from this offense information, I'll have that popping up on screen. So just click the links, and until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.